Hey YouTube, Corpus San here. We're back in the Maple Story Korea test line to check out the remastered Night of Sickness. With today, the Pirate Night of Sickness Finger Breaker. I mean, Keyboard Break on oh, no, a Thunder Breaker. Yeah, Thunder Breaker. That's what we're checking out today. Thunder Breaker. With the Destiny update that is releasing a couple of hours from now, Thunder Breakers are already getting a big boost in their linking speed and animation cancelling, making this class just so much faster than what is currently going on right now in the live server. This hot mess. With the Ignition update, which will be our winter update, the Night of Sickness are getting remastered, getting updated visuals and skill changes. So far, it doesn't look like the changes are super extensive, but hey, it's a remaster and not really a revamp, right? So I guess that's fair. Also, look at this newer lightning effect around your character. You're like Super Saiyan 2 all the time. Super cool. Also, I was super sad that the Explorer Pirates lost their Octopus double jump effect. You know, a little octopus that would pop out before Destiny when you were double jumping. But I'm happy to see that there are now sharks in the double jump and up jump animations of this class. At least this class got some personality. Let's get leveling and go over the changes as we level up. As always, this is filmed to the test client, so things could not yet be final. Do keep this in mind. I think most of the numbers will probably get tweaked along the way, actually. This update will be released in MapleStore Korea in about two weeks from now. In your first job, your lightning punch skill has gotten its range improved and flash, that attack that also dashes you to monsters, has been improved so that linking the skill with other skills goes even smoother. Honestly, grinding with this class in first job by comboing your two skills together already feels extremely powerful and illegally good. We're just zooming across the map like that, it's crazy. But this class also drinks MP potions like crazy, so better stock up on those. We have comboed our way to second job and that's where the fun begins. Both Tidal Crash and Shark Sweep have gotten new animations. Shark Sweep now also links faster, has reduced action delay and the skill's hitbox was made a bit bigger, so grinding in the second job advancement is even easier. Looking at the general changes, I think mostly the mobbing was improved for this class. There also are passive changes in second job, all booster skills are now passive for all Nidal Sickness, and the lightning boost now gives 2% more damage for every lightning stack you have, compared to the 20 attack power it gave before, which is pretty nice. Also, I mentioned better mobbing, there is now a new second job skill called Sea Wave, that pops out every 12 seconds when you're linking your skills together. It travels across the map and deals damage to everything it touches, but because of my high ping, I sometimes do shoot out multiple multiple orbs. This is not intended if you see that happening in the video. It is just because of my high ping that multiple of those things proc at the same time. When I'm training, I'm mostly linking Tidal Crash with my first job flash skill so we can zoom around the map like crazy. Man, I wish you could just grind like this forever. It's so smooth and it goes really fast for second job. I just realized I didn't actually film that much while grinding in third job. So uh, you're gonna have to do with just this one clip. Ascension and Thunder, your third job attacks, have new animations. They're very nice and flashy, but I do think they're just a tad too flashy. I cannot see my character anymore when I'm grinding when I'm using those skills I just follow the direction of the explosions and damage numbers popping out and I'm pretty sure our character is around that general area somewhere For our third job attacking skill Gale the damage buff for the skill has been reduced by 2% for every lightning stack But that's been added now to the second job passive so it's just some effects swapping around nothing too crazy So overall not many changes Gale's range has been improved as well and so has the skill color Personally I like the blue theme what do you think what do you think about the blue theme let me know in the comments in the 4 job advancement, your Annihilate and Thunder attacks have new animations and for both skills, if you link them with Tidal Crash, the linking speed will be faster. That's actually pretty amazing for when you're grinding because you can zoom around the map using Tidal Crash and Thunderbolt at the same time. Also for Annihilate, the shark skill range, your attacking range, has been increased as well. Besides that, there is some more convenience for Thunderbreakers. The skill Arc Charger now has a toggle skill, so no need to maintain it anymore. And Speed Infusion also boosts the damage of that Water Orb that you shoot out that second job skill when you're linking your skills together. Also, great news for all soon-to-be Night of Sickness mains. Before the Ignition update, all Night of Sickness classes had to complete a small quest line to get their Maple Warrior skill or their Emperor's Blessing. However, after the Ignition update, this has been changed and you will now get the Maple Warrior skill right away when you complete the 4 job advancement. No need to complete that quest line anymore. Let's go over the Hyper skills next. The Hyper Skill Primal Bolt still removes the cooldown on Typhoon, making that spammy and really fun to grind with. The skill now also boosts damage and ignores enemy defense when it's active, but the duration has been decreased from 5 seconds to 25 seconds, so the buff itself will last a bit shorter. Grinding is super fun on this class, but it's very spammy. I think it might be a good candidate to burn to level 250, so you'll save your fingers and you don't have to replace your keyboard every 20 levels. There also are two changes with the 5th job skills, like in the previous Dawn Warrior video, I haven't gotten my Thunderbreaker to level 
200 yet in the KMS test client, so I'll just show some GMS gameplay while talking about the changes. The Shark Torpedo skill got a 40% damage increase if the skill is used when you have max lightning stacks or max lightning buff. Those stacks you get from linking your skills together and the Lightning Gold Spear, that skill that pops out every now and then when you're attacking, has gotten a new feature where you can actually manually activate it, which is pretty nice for when you're bossing, I assume. Not too many changes for Thunderbreaker overall besides some better mobbing. I don't have enough experience to talk about how the class performs now when they're bossing, but judging from the changes themselves, it doesn't look there like there were any major buffs besides the bigger skill animations and faster linking of some skills. I'm also not too sure if I like the Sea Wave skill that pops out when you're already clearing out the mobs in front of you. Half of the time you're actually moving faster than the ball can travel, so you're just not really putting it to use that much. So when you're doing rotations, it doesn't really add that much, unless when you're grinding, for example, on bigger maps with multiple platforms and the ball like falls off and clears the monsters below you. That's pretty sick though. But on just pure flat maps, I don't think it's that great. I still really like the smoothness of this class though. It feels extremely fun to play, but very button mash heavy. So grinding for longer periods of time on this class can be quite taxing for your hands still. Which class should I look into next? Nightwalker, Blaze Wizard, Wind Archer or Mihil? Let me know in the comments which one you would like to see first. I'll try to cover those classes as soon as possible, but hey, Destiny is releasing in a couple of hours and my body is ready for that update. Let's just hope there's no maintenance extensions. <laughs> and that was all for the Thunderbreaker. As always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Oz, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wai Lee, History Cannon, Backspace OT, Subfronix, Anwar NHI, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knifesu, Chen125, Cloudvix, Gesus Rodriguez, Froggy, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Machaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zhang, Afterlord underscore MS, Seamark Striker Elk, Tidal and Pun, Victor Sundstrom, Radical Jaws, Riser RU, Gummy Bullet, Lovebird, Sir Tito655, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Anark, Glando Malavia, my name is Corpersan and I'm super cute XOXO, PC Game Life, Dante Victory, Stanislav Sumabegas, Swap to Bish, Road to level 235, 30k stat, exclamation mark reboot, the Passenger, Martin Panzik, I'm Disappointed, Lucky Beats, Gabriel Eck, Pedro Bonetti, Conrad Cristales, Ace Light, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Doc on a Tucker Box, Mukau1017, and BMB King. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!